Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can clean your Converse. Um, the other day I bought a brand new pair and when I compared them side by side to a pair I've had for like 10 years, I could not believe how dirty my blue pair were. So I started doing some research and I found three different ways that you can clean them and I wanna share those with you. So let's jump right into the video. So this is what my Converse look like now. Um, they're not horrific or anything, but I've had these for probably, I wanna say eight to 10 years and I've never cleaned them. So they definitely need to be cleaned. For this first method, you're gonna need some hand sanitizer and cotton balls. You'll apply a couple drops of the hand sanitizer onto the cotton ball and then just start doing a circular motion on the rubber part of the shoe. You will need to press firmly on this as you're scrubbing it in a circular motion. So this does get it clean as you can see the cotton ball is really dirty, um, but this does take a little bit of elbow grease. For this next method, you will need baking soda and detergent, and you'll wanna use equal parts. So I'm roughly using about a tablespoon of um, detergent and a tablespoon of baking soda. Then you're gonna just start mixing it around using a toothbrush, um, just to make sure that it turns into like a paste. You just want it to be fully mixed. Once you have the paste, then you're gonna wanna start scrubbing it into the rubber parts of the shoe with the toothbrush, avoiding the material part of the shoe. Then all you have to do is take a paper towel and just wipe off whatever excess you have. Um, you can wet the paper towel if you want, but you can see this gets it really clean. The top of the shoe is definitely easier to clean, so when you're doing the side, it's got all those indentations, you really need to scrub that pretty good. And then again, just take the paper towel and wipe off whatever excess you have. For this last option, you need baking soda and vinegar. And again, I use equal parts, so about a tablespoon of each. So this will obviously fizz up a little bit because of the baking soda. Once it settles down a bit, then you just start scrubbing the shoe like you did with the last option. Just making sure that you really scrub the rubber really good and stay away from the cloth portion of the shoe. Then once you're done, just wipe off the excess like we did before. And as you can see, it works really well, just like the second option. So now looking back at all three options, I would definitely say that the second option worked the best using detergent and the baking soda. Um, just the soap in general helps clean it a lot better, but any of these options will work for you. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me comments below so that I know you were here, or if you have any questions for me. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you later.